Kelsey Ray and today I'm going to be dyeing my own hair. I know, I know y'all have seen me already on this channel dyeing my hair. I went to a professional, I got my hair colored professionally. She did all the dirty work for me, basically like dyeing it and you know bleaching it and lifting it and keeping it well protected and taken care of. But she did the dirty work and now I'm about to just have fun. That's really what I'm about to do. Um, as y'all all know and all see, my hair was this color and now I'm this color. So my hair has faded tremendously and I just wanted to color my hair once again So I just want to take y'all on my on that journey with me if y'all don't want to see me coloring my hair Because I'm probably gonna continue to color my hair throughout my life If y'all don't want to see me do that just let me know in the comments like answers We don't want to see that but if y'all do let me know in the comments Y'all want to see me go through these processes and go through the changes of my hair color Because if I pop up on y'all with a new color and y'all like it I don't want to hear nothing y'all should have said y'all wanted to see it <laughs> But anywho I am going to shampoo and con not condition I think I just gonna shampoo I'm going to shampoo my hair off camera, come on the camera and show y'all the process of me dyeing it. And then once I rinse that out, I'll show y'all the end result. So yes, stay tuned. This is my before right here. So let's get started. Ah! What's up? What's up y'all? So let's jump right into it. I've freshly shampooed my hair i didn't condition it because the bottle didn't say condition it so i didn't but yeah so these are the bottles the bottles i will be using i only needed two and i use the sunrise orange which is the number 38 i used two number 38s i did not use number 39 which is i think orange blaze i didn't use that so yeah i only needed two bottles if your hair is like mine or a shorter you probably only need two to one bottle of color and if it's way longer obviously you need more so yeah so i'm going to start off by putting the color into the bowl i don't know i felt like it was is it was going to be easy to apply it in my hair if i put it in a bowl versus like keeping it in that bottle and distributing it all over my hair so yeah i'm putting it in a bowl there like i said there those two are the exact same colors i'm just putting it in a bowl so it's easier to get to and I'm going to mix those two together. And I'm so excited. Y'all, this color literally looked red in a, in a bowl. I was literally about to turn around and be like, don't worry about it. I'm not coloring my hair. Because I was scared that it was going to be way more red than I thought. So, yeah, don't use 39 unless you want to. But, yeah, so here is me about to start off with the back of my hair, the nape of my neck. And I'm going to just work my way up. I didn't know if I wanted to put the color on my roots because obviously my roots are super dark. So, obviously it wasn't going to show up. But I didn't know if I wanted to or not. So, I kind of put it on my roots. Like, I kind of didn't. Like, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'm just making sure I coat my hair with each strand and like make sure i'm not missing any hair and i'm going in with my um like i'm about to say wide tooth comb y'all my rat tail comb and um just kind of detangle as i go i kind of detangle depending on how big the section was i detangle and just detangling makes the color just get distributed very evenly so that's a tip but this ain't no tutorial y'all because i'm just doing it like I'm not a professional. I don't do hair. I, I know a good bit, a lot of bit about hair, but that's from just growing up and learning. And my mom's a hairstylist, so I get to pick up after her and like, you know, just figure out what what to do with certain things. So that that is how I know some stuff. But um, like I said, I am not a hairstylist and girl, I don't be knowing I be doing sometimes. So yeah, but I'm just raking this color through my hair. But y'all, the consistency of this color was jelly. I don't know what I thought this was going to be. I thought this was going to be like, I don't know, more of like a watery, liquidy texture. It was, it looks like jelly. Like, it did. <laughs> so, yes, this is pretty much all I'm doing and just like getting it through my hair. Dyeing your hair is really easy. I, in my opinion, not bleaching it. Mm you know you gotta know how to lift it and da, da 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 so that's a little harder but needless to say this was pretty easy to me and like 
as you see, I'm only really doing the ends. Like, so the ends of my hair really matters. The rest of my hair doesn't matter. So this was mad easy. But yeah, y'all, I love this color, but I just thought it was going to be more orangey. Like, even in these clips now, as I'm watching it back, it already looked red to me. The more you detangle and you know separate, the, the more you get all of the strands. So be sure to just detangle and separate. You probably want to detangle your hair um, before you start, but I didn't feel like detangling my hair before I started, so oh well. Girl, get it off. I ain't know if I wanted to use the gloves or not, y'all. <laughs> I was looking too crazy. I was like, gloves, no gloves, gloves, what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I wiped it off though. Yeah, make sure y'all wearing y'all gloves when y'all dyeing y'all hair, whatever color, because it will stain. This particular brand, I had to just wash my hands a couple times and it came out like it didn't, you know, it didn't stay like I thought it would stay. So that is really, really good, but still use gloves because you just, you know, want to be safe when dyeing your hair. Ugh, look at my face I look so stupid but this is my hair fully coated and I'm just going in with that extra like that excess color that extra color and I'm just making sure I coat my hair look at them curls y'all y'all see them curls them curls look so good so I'm going to take this um, plastic cap put it over my head and I'm going to sit under the dryer for 15 minutes okay at first, I wasn't going to sit on the dryer, but then that's what the bottle says, sit on the dryer. So I sat on the dryer, looking crazy, on my phone, doing nothing. Taking selfies, like, look at me, I'm just ratchet. But anywho, yes, this is probably a crucial step to dyeing your hair, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so that after that's over, I like to just rinse my hair out. I'm currently rinsing my hair out. Y'all see that color? Some of it picked up that orange that I wanted, and some of it picked up... A darker orange and that's because of how my hair was lifted she definitely lifted my hair and uh, added certain parts to make them lighter you know what I mean like giving it a, like a highlight effect so I'm glad that she did that you know my sister was zooming in and out on me knowing my hair my um, neck and area was looking crusty but y'all see these curls this color is beautiful I love this color y'all so now I'm going to go in with this like after color treatment that I got from Sally's. Y'all, the lady at Sally's was like, you only need one. Look at this little bitty pack. Girl, like I definitely needed more. Like she straight played me, but that's, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get some more. But I'm using this after, and this is supposed to seal in your color. It's basically like a seal, a sealant. Like you sealing in your color so that you can close the cuticles and the color won't run out pretty much. But look at that. That ain't even enough. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's see the end results. And I hope y'all like the end results too. If y'all do, I'm going to have the video linked up above. So this is the end result of my color. I hope you guys like it. I love it. It's definitely more reddish than what I expected. I really wanted to go for more of that orangey color, kind of like what I had before or previously. But nonetheless, this color is the bomb and it's giving off more red on the camera than in person so like in person if you ever see me you're gonna be like girl your hair really not that red but that's the camera y'all it's not me it's not me but nonetheless this is so cute i love my hair and i can't wait to keep dying it like i'm about to do this i think <laughs> so without further ado i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye What? <laughs>